Good morning everybody. So uh, as you can see, we're actually parked atop of a parking garage. And as I move around here, you see a lot of older buildings. Uh, we are actually in Salem, Massachusetts on Halloween. Um, I can't say Massachusetts right. Ashley's from New Hampshire, so she can actually pronounce it a little bit better than I can. It's Massachusetts. Uh, however you say it, but that's where we are. It's actually October 31st, Halloween. And we're here in Salem. So far, one of my favorite things here about Salem is, um, you know, wet paint. So they are doing building maintenance, but they don't go super high with their building maintenance, but they do just enough so at eye level things look maintained. So let's go ahead and hop in this sketchy elevator um, and let's ride down. I have no idea. Sure, we're gonna go to the M. We're gonna go to M floor. Um, we have some local writing here, some hieroglyphics from the natives. And they got it all about. We have just arrived at the Salem Witch Memorial here. Right along next to the memorial sites here um, for the alleged witches, um, there's actually the old cemetery here for Salem, Massachusetts, and here it is. Um, it's currently closed off, so we can't really walk around inside there. Um, I don't know if it's because it's still early in the morning, or if it's always closed off, but we can actually get pretty close to it still. So. Still pretty quiet though, at least. Not a lot of people everywhere. We definitely got here at a pretty decent time. Everybody thinks that Salem is just all about witches and spooky stuff and Halloween. There's actually so much more to do here than just the spooky stuff. I mean, yes, everybody loves all the spooky stuff, but it's actually a pretty major maritime city. I mean, just check out this old ship that's down here. Um, I'm not 100% sure if we can actually go on it, if it's open how to get on it, but we're gonna go ahead and check that out and try to get on this boat of the Friendship of Salem. The ship was actually built in the late 1700s, sailed around the world about 15 times, um, trading goods from around the world back here to Salem, Massachusetts. The National Park Service owns this boat now and it is still actually operational and I, from what I read on the sign, from time to time, they actually still take this boat out and sail it around. We made it out here to the end of the uh, harbor here, off this little embankment. There's a bunch of cool rocks to go climb around on. Uh, check out out here, out into the ocean. And it's just crazy, like all the sailboats and everything that everybody has. Um, I wonder if it's similar to Florida where people just live out on sailboats. One of the coolest things that we found out here, if I don't die on the rocks, or Ashley doesn't fall on the rocks, I'm gonna fall on the is this old lighthouse that's out here. Um, there's actually a date stamp on the other side of the building, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at that and see how old this was. Don't quite remember. Cool brick lighthouse right out here on the end. Ashley's not falling into the water, but if she does fall into the water, um, the water looks pretty clear, and uh, it's also pretty shallow, it looks like. So uh, Ashley did not fall off the side of the ledge, which is a pretty good thing because I don't think she would have drowned. I think she just would have hit her head on a rock. But the lighthouse behind us, it was actually built in 1871, according to a little placard on the side of it. Oh, rock. Okay, I'm just tripped. And uh, she's almost tripping on the rocks. Um, this isn't necessarily a super paved path out here. It's uh, a bit rocky, um, almost like a hiking trail, but not really a hiking trail. Just kind of rocky, so watch your step. So Ashley, what is all this called that's all around us? Haba. Yeah, whatever uh, she said. That's what it is. It's rusty, it's very rusty. So it's a haba? 
Hava. Okay, that's how you say it, I guess. So everybody loves that show, House Hunters, and it always has those really cool, totally awesome houses. And generally the people looking for these houses work like some weird, odd job, and you're like, how in the world can they afford this like massive, beautiful home right here next to the harbor in the ocean in um, Salem here? Well, that is really true because back in uh, 1782, um, a paper stamper um, afforded this massive house right here uh, next to the water. So I guess it really is a thing. From growing up in Florida and doing most of my like traveling out west, um, a lot of things that I haven't necessarily seen or ran across, and this is definitely one of them. It is a fire alarm pole station. Um, I don't know if it's operational. I don't know how old it is, but this thing looks ancient. Um, it's covered in markings from locals, but uh, definitely different. Definitely looks ancient. So if you know about how old these things are or anything about them, leave a comment down below. Came across this uh, derby house here built in 1762. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what year it is because uh, the first time that this yard has flooded was September 30th, 2031. Um, I don't think it's 2031 yet, so kind of creepy. This uh, house here that we're walking around was actually built in 1675. So Ashley, what's over there? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing's over here? Just the side of the house? Yeah. So uh, here you have it. Now check out some of this old roof right here. Um, I know they've done lots of work to it over the years. I don't know how original that this roof is or is not. But the building itself, 1675. There's a basement And there's a creepy basement. Perfect. With it being uh, Halloween and the holidays, there's actually across the way from the Salem Witch Museum, which is directly behind me. Kind of hard to see with this lighting. There's like a little carnival, a little fair going on. A bunch of vendors were selling different variety of things here in Salem. Also a bunch of like little food trucks and carnival food. So I think Halloween is a really popular time to come to this town for some reason. this old model ship here definitely a cool build like just all the detail that went into constructing this is just incredible even down to the little ropes it's about I don't know 10 30 or so and I mean this place is getting packed it is starting to fill up um, we're probably going to head out here soon, so we're just going to walk over here, check out the last little bit of stuff that we haven't seen yet, and then uh, go from there up to Maine. So much creepiness. So did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome.